presence through your son Lord Jesus Holy Spirit you are here with us glorious God thank you for your wonderful presence as we are gathered together to praise and worship you Joanna will begin us to lead in praise and worship Lord we thank you for this wonderful day Lord Lord thank you for giving us a new day and we thank you, Lord, that we have joined hands in worship. You be with us, Lord. Let your presence be with us. Lord, your Lord of Lords, your King of Kings, Lord. Lord, you have created the heaven and the earth. Lord, you are the Alpha and the Omega, Lord. You are Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Shalom, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. You are a man of our Lord. God, you have done many things in our lives. We thank you for that, Lord. Lord, th Lord, you have created the heaven and the earth. Lord, we thank you for creating us, Lord. Lord, thank you for uh, clear cleaning our sins, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Lord, you have done many miracle miraculous things in our lives. We thank you for that, Lord. We praise you. We praise you, Lord. Lord. Lord, you, Lord, we cannot compare you with any other thing in this world, Lord. Lord, you are King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Lord, you have created the heaven and the earth, Lord. Lord, we praise you, we praise you, we praise you, Lord. Lord, Lord, we have done many mistakes in our lives, Lord. We may be a vilest offender, but if we believe in you, all, all our sins will be washed away, Lord. Lord, we thank you for sending your one and only Son for shedding his blood for our sins, Lord. We thank you for that, Lord. Lord, Lord, uh, Lord, let us surrender unto you, Lord. Lord, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness, Lord. Lord, yes, Lord. You Lord, uh, your mercies never come to an end, Lord. They are new every morning, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, we may do many mistakes in our lives, but if we trust in you, but if we surrender unto you, you will take care of that, Lord. Let us surrender unto him. Let us surrender unto him, Lord. Lord, let us, uh, Lord, you help us not to do mistakes here after, Lord. Lord, you be with us, Lord. Lord, let us not do mistakes in our life. Lord, you help us for that, Lord. You clean our sins, Lord. You clean our sins. Lord, let us get purified, Lord. Lord, we thank you for sending your Son, Lord. Lord, let us surrender unto you. Lord, you purify us, Lord. Lord, you take away from our sins, Lord. All to Jesus I surrender. All to Him I freely give I will ever love and trust You In Your presence daily
us with your blood lord lord you have given us a gift that no one else in the world could give lord not even our friends even not our parents lord that is the purchase of blood lord we thank you for that lord lord we thank you for purifying us lord lord in in john chapter 4 verse 18 says such love has no fear because perfect love expels all fear if we are afraid it is for fear of punishment and this shows that we have not fully experienced his perfect love and in romans chapter 5 verse 8 says but god showed his great love for us by shedding christ to die for us while we were still sinners Lord we thank you for the purchase of blood Lord we thank you for the purchase of blood Lord Lord we may be a vilest offender but you Lord but if we believe in you you will take away everything Lord you will take away our sins Lord we thank you for that Lord Lord thank you for giving us a precious gift Lord Lord let all the glory and honor be unto you Lord let you alone be glorified Lord Lord you protect us Lord Lord you guide us Lord let us go in the right path Lord Lord let the glory be unto you Lord Lord you, thank you for forgiving our sins Lord you purify us Lord Lord let us get purified Lord
Lord, we may be a wireless stuff in the Lord, but if we truly believe in you, you will take care of everything, Lord. You will wash away our sin, our sins, Lord. Oh, perfect redemption, the purchase of blood to every believer, the promise of God, the wireless stuff. That is the purchase of blood. We thank you for that, Lord. Lord, uh, Lord, you be with us, guide us, and guard us. In Jesus' precious mighty name, I pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. What a privilege it is to be with you, Lord God. Let's do it. Praise you, Daddy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glorify thy name. The love of Jesus constrains me for everything, for everything, O oh Lord God, dependent on your marvelous great love. I am thine, O oh Lord. I have heard thy voice and it told thy love to me, O oh Lord. I long to rise in the arms of faith and be closer drawn to thee, O oh Master. Hallelujah. What a privilege. What a glory, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. I have 
God. Lord, that you have brought us in this place. We worship you with all our hearts and all our minds, Lord. Our souls are inclined to you. It is given in the Bible in the book of Psalms, whether by day or by night, I look at your presence, Lord. Your presence always goes before us. You are always there with us. Even when we are weak, you are strong. You uphold us, Lord. Your righteous right hand always holds us and does not allow our feet to slip. You are my strength when I am weak. You are the treasure that I seek. You are my all in all. Seeking you as a precious jewel. Lord, to give up, I'd be a fool. You are my all in all. You are my strength when I am weak. You are the treasure that I see. You are my all in all. Seeking you as a precious jewel, Lord, to give up, I'd be a fool. You are my all in all. Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy. Right. 
was worthy, the lamb who was slain was worthy to open the scroll, the book, because he was holier than the rest of all of us. Glory, glory in the highest glory, to the almighty glory to the Lamb of God. Let's put our hands together and sing. Glory to the living one Glory Glory in the highest glory To the almighty Glory to the Lamb of God Glory to the living one I give glory Oh 
and he will be found by you only if you will seek him take the effort to seek him he will be found by you that is the will of the lord that he has kept for all those who will seek him we seek you with all our hearts today morning lord you have brought us in this place and gathered us as one family to worship you to sing praises unto your name you are here with us you have been good to us and you will be forever good to us in our life lord our life is yours lord we offer it as a sacrifice unto you you offered yourself as a sacrifice on the cross for our sins we will offer ourselves as a living sacrifice unto you today morning let our praises our offerings be acceptable unto you like how Abel's offering was accepted in your presence a true and a pleasing sacrifice a sacrifice that is pleasing to my king a fruit that my king delights in as it is given in the song of Solomon my beloved comes to the garden he enjoys the fruits which is given by his love
given in your word no weapon formed against us shall ever stand because it is the lord who will hold our right hands who will hold our hand and wage the war for us for it is the spirit of god who gives counsel during the time of war and teaches us how to hold the sword and how to fight against the enemy all the plans of the devil will come to naught because it is not we who fight the battle alone it is our god who fights our battle along with us you are the center of our life lord you are the center of our life we always look to you the planets revolve around the sun so are our lives dependent upon you lord all our sustenance comes from you everything of us of who we are right now is because of the sacrifice that you made on the cross that day That's the reason that we are standing here today that we are singing with all our hearts Jesus at the center of it all Jesus at the center of it all from beginning to the end it will always be it's always been you jesus 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 at the center of it all jesus at the center of it all.
may cover the skies so that we may not see you Lord for a brief time because of our sins. We know one thing, your grace and your mercies will always sustain us and it is because of you that we are on a stable ground. It is because that your hand leads us, that one light that we are able to see ahead on our path. portion you will ever be known. As long as the sun blazes and burns, your mercies will never leave our lives. The seasons and harvest will pass on. Your mercies will always endure in our life. We look to you. As long as the sun blazes and burns, your mercies they never fade. As long as the seed time harvest endures, your mercies they never fade. And when my so is downcast within your compassions have no Yeah. 
to the hills where does my help come from my help comes from the lord the maker of heaven and earth he who watches over me will never let my foot to slip for his mercies and his grace are two things which will never depart from my life we look to you lord we look to you Thank you for accepting our praises, our worship and sacrifices unto you. We commit the rest of the service into your hands. 
you take complete control in jesus name we pray amen sister susan swalsing will come and lead us in a song at that time we will give our tithes and offerings unto you the lord those of you attending the service in the youtube you are most welcome to connect with us do internet banking or through gpay or whichever way possible that you find it on the screen now you can make this time available to give for the lord parmeshwar ki naam ki mahima ho fir se ek baar hum sabhi ko fir se ek baar parmeshwar ki tareef kare kyunki jo din parmeshwar ne hame diya hai dekhne ke liye uski naam ke gaurav ho मेरे तुरख वाला हर पल तुम मेरा विदाता है जीवन कमेरे तुरख वाला हर पल तुम मेरा विदाता Let's bow our heads down in prayer and let's cry out to God for our nation. Lord, we thank you for this day that you have given us. We thank you, Lord, for bringing us once again together to seek your face, to worship you, to thank you and to praise you, O oh Lord. Lord we lift your name on high we glorify you oh lord 
we are ever thankful in our hearts, O Master, for the salvation that you have given us, O Lord. Lord, we think of the people in our country, O Master, who are yet to know you, O Lord, who are seeking for the truth, O Master, who are looking out for salvation in all different ways, O Master. When you have proved in our hearts that you are the way, truth, and life, O Lord, we praise you and thank you for that, O Master, and for all the souls who are yet to know you, O Lord, we cry out in, in burden, O oh Lord. Lord, we pray that the eyes of these people may be open, O oh Master, that they will hear the gospel, O oh Lord. Lord, we pray for all the churches that are being persecuted, O oh Lord. We commit them into thy hands, the pastors, the family, the uh, believers, O oh Master. Lord, with burden in our hearts, we pray, O oh Master, yes, mighty God, that you will change the situation, O oh Lord, that you will be with such churches, O oh Master, yes, mighty God, have mercy, O oh Lord. Lord, we pray for all the missionaries, O oh Master, who are serving in our country, O oh Lord, in all remote places, O oh Lord, Yes, Lord, who take the gospel to different parts, O oh Lord, in the country, to very remote places, O oh Master. We commit them into your hands, Lord. We pray for all their needs. We pray for their families, O oh Lord. We pray for your protection, O oh Lord, over their ministries, O oh Master. Yes, mighty Jesus. Lord, we pray for our government, O oh Lord. Our central government, O oh God, Modi and his cabinet of ministers, O oh Lord. Yes, mighty Jesus. Lord, we pray for our Tamil Nadu state, O oh Lord. Yes, mighty God. Lord, we pray for our chief minister. Lord, we pray that you will bless him with good understanding, wisdom and power, O oh Master, to lead our state, O oh Lord. Yes, mighty Jesus. Lord, we especially give the problem of our economy into thy hands, O oh Lord. Yes, Master, as the economy is in shatters, Lord, we pray, O oh Master, that it will be reconstructed, O oh Lord, in a proper way, O oh Lord. Lord, we pray for all the people, O oh Master, who have been affected by this pandemic, O oh Lord who have lost their jobs, O oh Lord. Yes, mighty Jesus, who are suffering even for their basic needs, O oh Master. Lord, we think of all the children who have been orphaned, O oh Lord, because of this pandemic, O oh Master. We pray, O oh Lord, that you will take care of all the needs of such children, O oh Lord. Yes, mighty God, and they will, above all, come to know about you, O oh Master. Lord, we pray, O oh Lord, especially for us, Tamil Nadu state, and the new governor who is going to take charge, O oh Lord. Lord, we pray, O oh Master, yes, Lord, as you have mentioned in Ezekiel, O oh Lord, we raise up a wall, stand in the gap, and pray, Master. Yes, Lord, we especially think of all the atrocities that happen in our country, O oh Lord. Yes, Master, for especially for the poor and needy and downtrodden, O oh Master. Lord, we pray that they will be granted justice, O oh Master. And above all, O oh Lord, we thank you for the salvation that you have given us. And we pray, O oh Lord, that we will work out our salvation with fear and trembling, O oh Master. Yes, Lord, always looking out for souls, O oh Master, to share the gospel, O oh Lord. Once again, we commit our Chennai city into thy hands, O oh Lord. Your mighty protective hands to be over our city. We pray for our Chule Medo area, O oh Lord. We commit our country into thy hands, O oh Lord, 
your protective hands, O Master. Protect our country from all the natural calamities and disasters, O Lord. Have mercy on our country, O Lord. We ask this in the mighty, matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Greetings to you in Jesus' precious name. Some of the important announcements for this week. If you are watching this RSAG eChurch YouTube channel for the first time, we encourage you to continue to participate and be blessed. We would like to get to know details about you. So get the number from the description box and contact us and share your prayer request. In these days, as the government has laid down lockdown for religious worships on Fridays, Saturday and Sundays, we will be having a Sunday services online until we receive the next update from the government. Our first Tamil service will be premiered on Sundays at 5 a.m. and English service will be premiered on Sundays at 7 a.m. In these days, Though you will not be able to meet a pastor in person, you can still be able to reach him through his mobile number. Kindly make a note of his mobile number. We have exclusive praise and worship scheduled in the church premises. On every Monday, it will be in Tamil from mornings 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. To worship the Lord in English, it is scheduled on Tuesdays from morning 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. So we encourage all the church members to come and to worship the Lord. Let's come together, worship the Lord. In view of lockdown, or religious worship on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we will be having our Sunday services on Wednesdays and Thursdays. On Wednesdays, we will have two services. The first service will commence from morning 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. and the second service will commence from morning 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. Both these services exclusively will be in Tamil. And on Wednesday evening, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., we will have a bilingual service and on Thursdays we will have our English service commencing from morning 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. We request you all to come to our church premises and be blessed. We have an early morning prayer in the church premises daily and also via Google Meet and you will find the details on the screen kindly contact the details so that you'll be able to participate on the screen you're finding the participants of the early morning prayer in the previous weeks we encourage you to note of the contact number and so that you'll be able to connect in this early morning prayer we also have a chain prayer that's happening area wise on each day from Monday through Sunday so kindly make note of your area and contact your area pastor and communicate that you had prayed for the area. Every Friday we have fasting prayer from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. We have been meditating about the women in the Bible. Especially we have begun from women in the book of Genesis. It has been a great blessing as we meditate. So we encourage you to participate this in RSAG eChurch YouTube channel and be blessed. We have a virtual Sunday school happening on Sundays from 4.45 p.m. to 6 p.m. This exclusively happened in Tamil and English. So we encourage the parent to make a note of this and make sure that your children participate. On the screen you find the children who have participated in the previous week and also you find the teachers who are leading these children. Praise be to the name of the Lord. And we also have Youth Fellowship is conducted by Brother Samuel Aaron and Miss Shalom on every Wednesday from 6 to 7 p.m. This is exclusively for students who are studying plus one, plus two and up to college. Last week about 15 students participated and were blessed. So kindly get the details that is displayed on the screen. Contact Miss Shalom with the number displayed on the screen and participate and be blessed. So our on course are those who work along with us who are a neighbor, who are a relative, whom we meet on a day-to-day -day basis, who are yet to know Christ. And as we continue to pray for their personal prayer requests and the presence of the Lord and God will make way that they will hear the gospel and they be saved. On October 31st, we have a Bible verse memorization competition and those who have registered and those who are not registered, kindly register and those who have registered, we encourage you to continue to memorize and get ready for that day. We have Bible Quest 2000 21 organized by Campus Crusade for Christ and the Bible portion is Ezra, Nehemiah and the book of Revelation. The quiz is scheduled on November 28 from 2 to 4 p.m. The venue is online or also it can be taken in the church premises. The language, it can be Tamil, English, Telugu, Hindi and the age group. It is of all age group that can participate. The registration is 30. You can register with the AD leader. Regarding the prices, prices offered from Campus 
Cyprus Crusade for the first prize winners, they will receive 3,000. Second prize winners will receive 2,000. And third prize winners will receive 1,000. And a matching and an equal prize is also contributed from our church to those prize winners of our church. Whosoever receives the first prize, they will have an additional prize from our church of rupees 3,000. Whoever wins second prize in our church will have an additional gift of rupees 2,000. And whoever receives third prize, they will receive an additional prize of rupees 1,000 from our church. So we encourage everyone to participate in this quiz and be blessed. And as you hear the sermon, we encourage you to make a note, journal it, and if you could convert the journal into a meaningful drawing and WhatsApp to us, you'll be able to share it with others and they will also be encouraged. On the screen, you find from Virgambakum, Sister Angel Mary have shared her journal and Kodambakum, Pastor Paul has shared the sermon notes. And on the screen, you find Ali and the participants have a branch church at Ali and the participants of Sunday service and you are finding the photograph. Praise be to the name of the Lord. So kindly make a note of this number and share your journal or your drawings. May the name of the Lord be glorious. Praise the Lord. I greet you all in the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. I am glad to see you all once again in this wonderful morning. Worshipping the Lord is the greatest honor given to us by the Father who is in heaven. So let us all unite as one on every Tuesdays, morning 5 to 7 a.m. Let us all exalt the Lord who is in heaven. And now the time to hear the word of God. Let us all put our hands together. Let's welcome Mrs. Priya Rufus to deliver the word of God. Glad that you all are here, dear people of God. And people who are watching from the other show. <laughs> So we are going to meditate um, the word of God from the promise verse. Shall we turn our Bibles to the promise verse? Psalms 37 verse 4. Psalms 37 verse 4. Before that, uh, I will be uh, speaking on about the chapter, about the chapter, few things about the chapter. And the second thing is, a small explanation about the promise verse and the third thing is um, the verse the promise verse I'm going to compare with another verse from the Bible and how God uh, speaks to us speaks to us God pairs the words in the Bible no so how God speaks to us this is how it will be formulated for today so let us close our eyes before we would go into the word father God Thank you for this wonderful time, Lord Jesus, that you have made us to come together and to hear the word. Father God, you hide me and let your word alone be revealed. Let your word speak to your people, break your people, melt your people, mold your people, use, fill your people according to thy desire, Master God. Be with us, Father God, depending on your mercy and grace. The most precious and wonderful name of Jesus alone we pray. Shall we shout Amen? Amen. Amen. So we'll read this verse, dear people of God. The word says, Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Delight yourself and as a result, your desires will be granted. Okay, this chapter is written by David, the psalm writer. This chapter is written by David and it is written in the acrostic manner, which means like it comes in a sequence. Like we have Hebrew words, Hebrew alphabets, all those alphabets it is written in a sequence. So it is written in acrostic manner. And here the word he says, the psalmist says, like um, there are many psalms written in the Bible. And many psalms, no, the psalmist he speaks to God. And few psalms he speaks to men like us. Okay. For us he writes. And this psalm, it says that, he writes to people like us in his older age. Why it says like that? It is just Psalm 37. But it says this Psalm was written in his older age. It is not Psalm 150 or 149. But it is just 37. But it says that it, this Psalm was written when he was um, ripe in his age. Why? Because here Psalm says delight yourself in the Lord. The psalmist in many psalms, he says, Lord, I want to see the destruction of my enemies. 
right i want to see the destruction of my enemies there are many uh, many enemies who are surrounding me who want to destroy me and i want to see the destruction bring the judgment upon the people who are standing against me all these words he speaks but as we go in maturity shall we shout amen as we grow in maturity dear people of god you and i should not pray that prayer let me see the destruction of my enemies that is god's work he will do we need not plan or replan god's work we just need to delight in the god's work that that that's it we just need to delight in his plans delight in his promise and delight in his word so it says that this psalm was written when he was ripe in his age okay this is all about a simple introduction about this psalm and um, this verse delight in the lord the psalmist he gives a counsel he gives a advice hmm kattar edathil manamagirchi delight in the lord you need to delight in the lord he says if there is a counsel or advice there are two portions in a counsel two portions in a advice both counsel and advice are the same word it has the same meaning it has two portions one don't portion one do portion the counsel has a don't and a do don't do do this and do this this is a counsel okay a counsel will not contain all do's all don'ts it will have both the portions so you all take your bible and read this word delight yourself in the lord and he will give you the desires of your heart is there any don't in this verse no only do's and where are the don'ts where are the don'ts the don'ts are the previous verses previous three verses are the don'ts Okay. Do not fret because of those who are evil, or mm. be envious of those who do wrong. Mm. For like the grass, they will soon wither; like green plants, they will soon die away. Okay, praise God. So the word says, "Do not fret." Do not fret. In Tamil, irichalaga de. Do not fret. Now another word it says, "Do not be envious." Puramai kulla de. Do not fret. Do not be envious. on whom on the wicked on the evil doer all these people that is a don't of this word but instead of that what should you do trust in the lord third verse sister trust in the lord mm. and do good mm. dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture fourth verse take delight mm. in the lord mm. and he will give you the desires of your he heart he will give you the desires of your heart he will give you don't fret on the evil doers don't be envious and the people who are eyeing on you with an evil eye don't do that because you know if we have an evil eye or if we always have a eye on people who are already eyeing on us we cannot be contented with our lord we cannot be contented with our lord we cannot take delight in the lord and we cannot enjoy the promises of what god has given us okay if we have to concentrate fully on god we need to leave something and we need to hold on to something we cannot have both in our life shout amen we can never have both in our life we can enjoy only one we can enjoy the world keep on be eyeing on people who are fretting at us or envying us or leave that hold on to the delight of the lord what is the delight that is the word of god how can this be achieved dear people of god we need to be contented with what we have say contentment yes we need to be contented with what we have what and all we have what and all the possessions that we have the wealth the treasures that god has given us the health that god has given us and the family in some family there will be husband wife and children everybody and in some family it will be barren no children in some family the husband will not be there passed away or or somewhere gone somewhere and some in some family the women will not be there absconded gone somewhere or or gone away from the face of this earth okay many things happen many things happen whatever the situations you are in god says be contented in your situation amen 
whatever may be the situation without the will of god you will not be placed in such a kind of a situation and god knows very well that you can hold on you can manage the situation he will not allow something that you cannot manage in your life he will allow anything and everything that you can handle god will not allow more than that god will not give a, what to say an a physics equation to be done by a lkg girl okay he knows where we are and what we are studying if you are a seventh standard girl or a seventh standard guy he will give such a kind of a thing for you to hold on nothing more nothing less so that is the work of god so here god says here we need to be contented with what we have if we have that contentment dear people of god i think we will start to delight in the word here you see can you read the second verse sister psalms 37 second for like the grass, grass. they will soon wither mm. like green plants they will soon die away mm. look at that the evil doers or the people who eye at you how are they they are like grass grass looks really great and if you walk on grass it is really healthy okay and the other word is green herb the other translation says green herb green plant every plant is green so green herb okay grass or green herb it will look good for some time of a few months and it will wither away it will not stay long it will never stay long this uh, illustration what i'm going to share now you would have already heard but i just want to add on for this point there is something called a jewel of forest there is something called as jewel of forest in botany and that is called fern how many of you know fern yes fern you see there is some difference with ferns and other plants you will see both the sides decorated have you seen that both the sides it is not like ordinary leaf it will have beautiful curves and small small bends here and there and every leaf will be of same type if you turn the leaf there will be spores both the sides it is decorated so it is called as jewel of forest beautiful ferns it will grow very fast just with one shower it will grow very fast it will not take much time and it will cover the entire land dear people of god it will cover the entire land when you look at it it will be so lush it will be so good for rice it will be so good for rice and there are other trees like oak trees you know bamboos bamboos you know bamboos you know how long years it will take to grow it will take to take the shoot the roots will grow but but it will take many years there is something called as musa bamboo and it will take more than 3 years to take its shoot to take uh, to have a plumule plumule is something that comes out of the soil and radical that is root that goes below it will have its roots to take the shoot it will take more than 3 years more than 3 years does it mean that it is not good or it is it doesn't it doesn't sound good or it is not a good plant a bamboo plant or a oak plant it may be or a palm tree maybe whenever something takes time it means that it is strong it can withhold it can stay for long years David grew from strength to strength. He did not get everything all of a sudden. Just by the fraction of a second or just by the click, he did not get everything. But he grew from strength to strength. But Saul, he got everything at hand. What happened? He was not able to realize the grace of God, the mercy of God. And so what happened? Everything was devastated from him. He was not able to realize the presence of God. And he went uh, seeking witches and he was uh, witchcrafts and all other things. We don't know where he is. I don't think so he will be in heaven. I don't think so he will be in heaven because he committed suicide. You, you have no right to take your life. But David grew from strength to strength. It means that when you have something, when you get something, as you grow in life, not everything all at a time, you will stay long. You will stay long. Okay. That is what this word says. Like don't for like a grass they will soon wither. And like a green plant they will soon die away. 
they will soon die away but you dear people of god you who trust in the lord dear people of god i will tell you that you cannot trust the lord just by a click there should be some situations in your life that make you to trust the lord shout amen yes without the circumstances without uh, without the situations you cannot put all your trust in the lord right there are many circumstances that we undergo there are many situations that we come across in our life and every situation is different there are some calm and easy situations that we can face it very easily with the trust and faith what we have right now but certain things certain experiences god will allow us to pass through death bed or health hazards maybe and god will increase our faith in during those times and he will make our roots to grow much more deeper towards the water deeper towards him and stay strong not like grass not like a green plant which will wither which will die away within few months it will have no life but it is it doesn't look the the tree no the palm tree does it look so lush does it look so flourishing or something but the word of god says the righteous are like a palm tree so as we grow as we pass on the circumstances in our life he makes us he helps us to grow in our faith and that is why god no keeps us in those circumstances in those circumstances god says trust in the lord and do good what do you mean by doing good dear people of god in those circumstances what do you mean when god allows certain circumstances in your life you would have seen some people complaining about god that is why god says trust in the lord do good means do good means don't complain about god complaining about god is doing bad doing bad but do good means don't complain about me read that verse sister trust in the lord mm. and do good mm. dwell in the land dwell in the land means what is the land dwell in the land dwell in the sanctuary dwell in the land dwell in the place a place what god has blessed you with dwell in the place dwell in the church dwell in the sanctuary a place from where you draw the blessing dwell in the land the next verse sister and, and enjoy safe pasture ah and enjoy safe pasture pasture always refers to the sanctuary pulveli abina sabai pasture means sanctuary so be in the land don't complain god if somebody passes from your house don't complain god god has taken how can he take who are you to tell all these things to god no who are we who are we we have no rights to tell god if we have some health hazards can we question god why have you allowed it is see we are puppets in the hands of god and he has got all the rights to do whatever he wants to do we have nothing to question god the word very clearly says do good do good the first thing is don't complain the second thing for doing good is delight in the lord the fourth verse say delight 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 in the lord this is a small explanation that i want to give and i want to compare this verse with another verse in the bible turn your bibles to matthew 633 and have the verse also sister psalms 37 you have hold that verse also Psalms thirty three six thirty three. But seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, mm. for all these things will be given to you as well. Hmm. This is a verse that I took for comparison. Okay. Psalms thirty seven four says, "Delight in the Lord, and I will grant you the desires of your heart." Matthew six thirty three it says, "Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all other things will be." granted unto you so we are going to divide the verse the two verses delight in the lord seek ye first the kingdom of god and the second portion is god will grant you the desires of your heart and all other things will be added unto you thus these two verses sound similar so delighting in the word means seeking or searching the word of god Amen. 
what is a delight for a christian not going after some girl not going after some guy of this world or just browsing or uh, watching certain things in the youtube or whatsapp it is not that dear people of god delighting in the lord means seeking and searching the word seeking and searching the kingdom of god and then the rest of the verse will be granted to you and me by god okay so how do we delight in the lord how do we seek and search the word of god how do we do that there are there are many people in the bible who have uh, done this uttering and muttering the word of god is one way by seeking and searching the word of god uttering and muttering i think it comes in joshua 1:8 when you read that verse sister joshua 1:8 keep this book of the law always on your lips once again keep this book of the law always on your lips mm. meditate on it day and night mm. so that mm. you may be careful to do everything written in it amen then mm. you will be prosperous mm. and successful mm. look at that look at that meditate on it day and night utter and mutter the word of god then you will be then underline that word then then only we will get everything <laughs> not before that not before that so before if we would complain why lord means it is not god's mistake it is our mistake say my mistake my mistake many a times we make the sentence plural no god will say it is yours it is yours tell it tell it aloud to me it is my mistake it is my mistake i would like to share something practical what happened yesterday yesterday i was disturbed in morning there there was kind some kind of a um, situation that really disturbed my heart why lord i was asking why such kind of lies for a simple thing will people lie like this why lord why lord and i was i started to pray for the people it was it broke my heart very badly i started to pray i started to shed tears and i i finished my work i went aside and i sat alone i was just shedding tears why for such a simple reason simple thing why should this person lie and i was shedding tears very badly in the presence of god and you know what god said god said priya pray that i should be faithful more in tamil it says na innu unmaya irke enak udavi seyinga andavare appdinu kelu appdinu solli andavar sonnar amen our ways are not his ways i was really shedding tears for that particular brother why did he do that why did he do that he shouldn't have done that for a simple and petty issues why why lord what is this what is this and god said i will heal him i will heal him i will do that i will do that you do this you raise you these words you utter these words i never thought that you know when i when i uttered those words and avare enna innu unmai ullavulaakunga enna innu unmai ullavulaakunga unno unmai ullava laak make me much more faithful help me to come much more closer to you when was when i was uttering when i was muttering these words no i was able to feel the presence of god your people of god more and more i'm practically sharing this with you what happened okay so delighting means seeking and searching the word of god delighting and then only god will grant all the desires of your heart read psalms 1 Uh, chapter 1 verse 1 and 2 blessed is the one mm. who does not walk in step with the wicked mm. or stand in the way that sinners take mm. or sit in the company of mockers mm. but whose delight is in the law once i come again the second verse whose delight is mm. in the law of the lord mm. and who meditates on his way day and night shout amen and here this man not only seeking and searching the word of god but applying it in his life applying it many people they have the habit of reading the word of god but only few applies in their life and god is pleased with people who apply it not just read and walk away 
people who put it in their action and here it says blessed is a man who does not walk in the counsel of wicked or stand in the way of sinners means he is planning in his mind I, do, I should not sit with these people I should not walk with these people you cannot just like that do all these things dear people of God if you have to avoid a particular group of people who are your friends and who speak all nonsense huh? you have to plan before Without planning, you can't avoid them. Am I right or wrong? You have to plan. If your friends are calling you for a movie, not the people who are here, but people who are watching or some, calling you for a movie, you need to plan. You should not lie. At the same time, it should be fact and it, it should please God. The answer that comes out of your mouth should please God. It should not be partial truth or partial lie. It should be full truth. For all these things you need to plan. Without that, without that, you cannot walk in the way of the Lord. The planning what you do is a delight that you have in the word. Amen? The planning, the pre-plan that you do is a delight that you have in the word of God. The delight that you have in God. The ministry what, we, what I am doing now, this is not the exact ministry. You know what is the exact ministry? The pre-preparation that I was doing yesterday and the previous day and today morning. That is the ministry God will look at. This is not the, I don't think so. I don't think so. I know it very clear. I know it very clear. The pre-preparation that I make, the burden that I have and the prayers that I make, Lord, this word should not only speak but the People who hear should apply it in their lives. And the pre-preparation and the pre-prayers that I make for the people who watch and who, and who hear, that is a ministry. This is a secondary ministry. As for, me, as for my concern, this is a secondary ministry, speaking from here. Okay, so this is a delight. What we hear and applying is a delight and blessed is a man and his delight is in the law of the Lord and on his law he meditates day and night and that man is like a tree planted by waters. That man, which man who takes delight in the Lord and God says to that man I will grant the desires of his heart. And from the word I would like to share an example. Turn your Bible to uh, Luke, the book of Luke, first chapter. Read verse 8, sister. Once when Zechariah's division was on duty mm. and he was serving as priest before God, okay. he was chosen by Lord. Enough, sister. There is a couple, you all know the story. Zechariah and Elizabeth, age old couple, no children, nothing. Barren, so many insults. Okay. Many people would have teased uh, this couple, many insults, many tears, for many years, long years, they have grown old, they would have forgotten the prayers, right, they would have forgotten the prayers, Lord give me a child, give me a child, they would have forgotten those prayers, it has gone for long years. And now in this verse it says, once when Zechariah's division was on duty, in Tamil it says, Avanudaya murai mayin padi. The word is so crisp and clear over there. Avanudaya murai mayin padi. His turn came. You know, there is a particular group of priests. Okay? Only that lineage of priests can enter into the holy of the holies. Not everybody. Not everybody. Only that particular, particular lineage of priests can enter into the holy of the holies during this time. Okay? And um, this Zakaria come under that lineage and the priest will be longing for that, um, uh, what to say, for that duty. What duty? Burning incense. Everybody will never get that uh, thing because only once in a lifetime a priest gets that chance. He will go into the presence, into the holy of the holies, behalf of him and behalf of the people. He will go and he will pray to God and he will come back. Okay, so for every priest in that particular lineage, they will have a longing and the desire of the heart itself, Lord, you have made me to be born in this particular family because please grant me this before I close my eyes on this earth. 
please grant me this that is the only desire that particular lineage the priest will have okay so this zakaria he is getting that uh, honor of going into the holy of the holies to burn the incense along with him two other priests will assist that is what i read it is not given in the bible okay and on his duty the lot is casted and his name is picked up okay and he goes and there will be another two priest it is like uh, subordinates or a priest who are lower in cadre okay two other priest why are these two priests going to arrange the uh, charcoal over the place and to arrange the incense and to burn the incense only the priest the, the priest the high uh, the high priest no only he has to go and burn the incense the other two priest will have to serve this priest okay so the other two priests are going they finish their job and they will come back and the moment the other two priests comes back the people who are waiting outside the tabernacle okay the sanctuary they will know it is this time the high priest is going into the holy of the holies he is going into the curtain to burn the incense and there will be a the entire place will be sanctified with prayer he is going to take all of us to god he is a representative and he is going to represent that to god and zacharias desires lord 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 please fulfill this please fulfill this two things i think while i was meditating this word two things zacharia would have had one lord grant me a child second thing lord grant me this this is the honor that you are giving me the first thing i didn't get okay leave that leave that but the second thing i need it lord i need it before i close my eyes on this earth i need it lord that would have been the desire that would have been the desire so god granted it and he is going into the holy of the holies and he is closing his eyes read those verses sister 9 10 he was chosen by lot mm. according to the custom of the priesthood according to the custom of the priesthood uh. to go into the temple of the lord mm. and burn incense mm. and when the time for the burning of incense came mm. all the assembled worshipers were praying outside mm. then an mm. angel of the lord appeared to him okay wait here zakaria has gone into the holy of the holies and he has closed his eyes tightly tightly there are certain rituals that has to be followed over there in that place okay or else you will be dead god will strike you over there god will strike you over there if you don't follow even a single thing even one thing if you leave even one thing god will strike you right there okay so he is closing his eyes on behalf of him on behalf of all the people he started this uh, intercessions not supplications is intercessions for the people he is praying for the people on behalf of the people and all of a sudden he sees the angel sitting there he saw the angel read that verse sister then an angel of the lord mm. appeared to him mm. standing at the right side of the altar of incense mm. when zekaria saw him mm. he was startled and mm. was gripped with fear gripped with fear because he was closing the eyes he he knew that only he was there no one was there other than him all of a sudden when he opened his eyes he is gripped with fear because there is somebody else is standing over there and no one who has gone before him other priests know has said that there will be a angel coming over there when you pray all these things no one has said so he was he is gripped with fear is it a new experience that i have or all other priests will have the same kind of experience like meeting with an angel Oh so this is a new experience for him. So here an angel is standing and the angel says read sister do not be afraid zakaria mm. your prayer has been heard mm. your wife elizabeth will bear you a son stop look at there it says that your prayers has been heard why is that man standing over there why is the why is zakaria standing over there in that place burning incense to pray for the people he is praying for the people he is burning incense for people and the angel of god very clearly says says your prayers are answered 
if you fill a bottle okay where, from where does the water gets filled up in the bottle from the bottom not from the up the water will be pouring we will pour the water or if we hold it under the tap what will happen it gets filled up from the bottom bottom the prayers that you pray first god will answer those prayers and he will do it one by one amen the prayers that you have prayed during your school days during your college days the early days of your marriage all those things will be answered first and then he will answer the prayers that you are praying for today <laughs> you are smiling am i right or wrong hmm so here the angel of the lord he says your prayers are answered this guy is praying for the people and the angel of the lord says zakaria it's time your wife is conceived your wife will have a child read that sister your wife elizabeth will bear you a son mm. and you are to call him john john he will be a joy mm. and delight to you and many will rejoice because of his birth amen amen he will be a joy and delight to you zakaria because you were delighting in me your only desire was to do this do this duty do this duty of burning the incense your only desire was lord before i would close my eyes on this earth my only desire lord leave that i am not having a child leave that it is okay but my only desire is i want to fulfill this please please your desire is this and i am giving you a delight and he will be a joy and he will make a way for the messiah amen look at that look at that and when was this zakaria delighting in the lord in his toughest times shout amen in his toughest times when his wife was barren in the midst of all the insults god says that is where we are growing in his faithfulness our trust in god raises in those circumstances i will say last year when pastor was admitted in the hospital because of a, because of this covid you know it was it was really turbulent it was really turb uh, turbulent i cannot explain everything but it was really turbulent the situations were very bad and the doctors were giving a all negative words negative uh, things and his score was also very bad his ct scan scores it was all very bad is uh, oxygen and everything and whenever i talk with him i have to talk with him telling that you are fine even before i would say you are fine he himself had a very very positive outlook up about himself and on god <laughs> he had a very very positive outlook i am fine i am fine his breathing his breath and everything went very badly down but you know it was that time god taught me many things many things which i have never ever learnt in my faith life never ever learnt before it was it was at that time god taught me many things it was at that time i got much more closer with god i knew many prayers how to how to seek god how to get attached with god how to reach the throne of god and how to humble myself it was at that time i learned you know it was a very very tough time it was a very tough time so god says very clearly delight in the lord when not when everything is feasible not when everything you have he very clearly says do good means you will be facing turbulence true maybe to the extreme also whatever it may be whatever it may be do good delight in the lord delight in the lord i will i will sanction i will grant your delights the desires of your heart the desires of your heart praise god shall we close our eyes dear people of god oh jesus master god thank you for all the the road that you have made us to come father god you pray dear people of god as i am doing this prayer 
I am thinking of my past, the paths that God took me through and I am really rejoicing in the Lord. Rejoicing and praising God in the same way you also rejoice in the Lord. Lord, if at all I have not passed this road, come across this road, I wouldn't have a good understanding about you. Or I, I, I wouldn't have understood you to this extent. Thank God, thank God. Open your mouth and thank God. Thank you. Thank you for this bed, death bed, Master God. Thank you for the health hazard. Thank you with all my heart, Master God. I am delighting in your word. I am delighting. Thank you, Father God. I am alive, Father God. It is because of your grace. It is because of his grace, dear people of God. It is not because of our, you, you and I had money in our hands. But money cannot buy our health, I am telling you. It is one and only because of the grace of God. Money cannot buy our health. Money cannot do that. He, it did not help us. It, did not, it, it will not help any one of you. Money will not help. But, but the faith that you have on Christ, the trust that you put on Him, He is a solid rock. Never changing, never changing, never will be taken out of your life. He is a solid rock. Tell it unto God, my hope is built on you, Lord. My hope is built on you. Since my hope was built upon you, I was not shaken and I was not put to shame. I was not put to shame. Oh, hallelujah. It is because of your grace that I am able to stand and confess and proclaim your word that you are great. You are so great and you are so merciful, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I am inspired to sing this song. My hope is built on nothing else but Jesus' blood, unrighteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. On Christ's solid rock I stand. Shall we all stand to our feet, dear people of God? My hope is built on nothing else than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but holily on Jesus' name. Your hands lifted up. On Christ the solid rock I stand. face. 
many a times it has happened in your life and my life dear people of god when dark when darkness tried to hide his face the same thing happened to jesus on the cross he was not able to see his father if it has happened to him who are you and me it will happen to us he is a role model for us he wasn't able to see his father's face and at times the darkness covers our face and it is those times dear people of god our trust our faith our delight should increase in the lord and we need to proclaim the word again and again telling that even though this darkness covers me there is a light coming there is going to be a light that is coming and it is going to shine upon my face and that light will not put me to shame oh hallelujah that light will not put me to shame and that light is jesus christ he will not put me to shame oh hallelujah he is testing me he he knows me who i am who i am and he is called by my name oh hallelujah thank you jesus father god thank you for all the goodness thank you for all the goodness that you have you are showing on us on our church master god on your flock master god and this much you are loving your flock master and so much you are loving your flock master god you know them by their names you know them individually master god who they are who she is who he is you know them face to face heart to heart you are there by their side father god and this much you love the flock master god thank you jesus thank you jesus we humble ourselves thank you for all your goodness father god thank you thank you for you being us as so as all the rock thank you the most wonderful precious name of jesus christ alone we pray shout amen amen shall we all say bless the lord oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name bless the lord oh my soul and forget not all his benefits amen in the love of god the father and grace of our jesus christ and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with you all till uh till the coming of our lord jesus christ amen amen praise be to god